Hi everyone, my name is Asat and welcome back to my Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 walkthrough. I read the game where unfortunately it's time for Marathon. Mm. The reason is uh, I made some mistakes uh, which I was. I want to read the game with the best way, as my opinion. So, Let's get started. Now! This will be a 7 hour marathon. I want to do it without dying. Even once. And with perfect choices. I always like what stories the where the hero has game. no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, that means their zero to fame, hero. just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? <laughs> we thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. It's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah, See, that's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um. Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Radar. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right, oh, right. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? 
I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Or not. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. Wow, I had no idea you guys had gotten so lame. <laughs> Come on, we're not lame. I mean, <laughs> you're a little lame. Axel! But, seriously, you have your life and so do we. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the order hall with the order. <laughs> ah, so freaking cute. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, oh, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. What did you expect? Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town. Some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, I just wish I could have hung out with my friends more. We're all so busy now. That is hard. But at least they come back to visit a bunch? That's pretty awesome. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Time to move. Let's see, I was bad. Hope Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. Out seeing no. the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves. Super individualistic. House over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, 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 this is 
going to be so cool. Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business. Do you have a ten? That is some sweet work. Nice. <laughs> oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Yes. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Oh, those were the days. Simpler times. Oh, wow! It is really you! My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. <laughs> All right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes. I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic 
Jesse, I love that. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams. Tentacles everywhere. Well, it's like I said about drawing inspiration from my friends. We all gave each other strength during that fight. Amazing. I hope I have friends like that someday. Oh, you are just the best. Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Well, not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow. This is actually perfect. For Founding Day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. It seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. Uh, uh. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben esque. Hmm? Definitely Esteban. He's got the most intelligent face. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye! Sugar, nice! Jesse! Oh, hey, hey, look who it is! Jesse, hey! Hey, guys, what are you doing? I'm glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. <gasps> Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Jesse's going to help. Nothing prettier than pink wool. Let's get to it. Nice, that turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse! <laughs> Woohoo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse, wow, hi. And just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Uh, could maybe use a bit more wool, I guess. More oh, wool, of course. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that stupid? Now, just to get... <clears throat> Back up there? Huh? Uh, okay then. We'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, 
good, Jesse. I am telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Oh, and pumpkin pie is the universally loved food? I think not. Why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. He said cake, she said pie, and then I said, why don't we just have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? Well, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! All right. Now the hard five. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh, no. Thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? I hope so. Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? still remember how to fight. Oh, hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. 
I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, I am not rusty. <laughs> oh, yeah? Says the scrub wearing iron armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... <laughs> time to find out just how rusty you are. <laughs> my step yet. Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me... your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything, but jeez. Hey, I'm here now, aren't I? I'll always make time for you. Or not. Yeah, I guess. But now that you mention it, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, you're right. It is lame. It just isn't the same without them. See, I knew you'd get it. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me. It's important. The law. What was that? Come on, let's race. Wait, what? It's monster hunting time. Good. Good to oh, see ya. <laughs> Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! <laughs> huh. Woo! All right, where'd you go? Where'd what go? not going to tell me what we're chasing? Nope. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on. Man, your 
faster than I remember. <laughs> you were so supposed to lose. Everybody knows I'm faster than you. Hey, just thought I'd come and remind you why I'm the best. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Keep it up. I didn't want to show you the way back up anyway. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Let's go. All right, Llama. was just to track down a stupid llama? Stupid. <laughs> This secrecy, are you okay? I'll tell you about it later, okay? But I appreciate you worrying about me. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Come here, llama. <laughs> Come on. Come on. sort of glove or gauntlet looks like it's made out of prismarine a prismarine but you only find that at the bottom of the ocean Seems like it's 
it's not hurting you, and that's good. It looks kind of... Okay, actually, it looks really cool. Uh, which I know might not be what you want to hear right now. It's not hurting me, but it keeps making these weird whispers. I haven't heard anything. Well, uh, here. I'll help you take it off. Okay. Ow. Wow. Stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that... Maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah, until you die. Which isn't what's happening here. down there. Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah. Agreed. feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. There, come on. Uh, that was easy. And the hard part is still on the way. So close to Beacon Town. It's dangerous. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Keep off the grass. Sure. Yeah, that works. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismary, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. Knew you'd be excited. Yes. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... Yeah, I, I know. I know. But this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kind of got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. Petro, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So... Yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. 
She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, great, cheating. Yeah. She's in the great Without my sword, yeah. I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. You're one of my best friends, and it sounds like you really need my help. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. Don't worry, we're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! Next chapter. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. If it's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? More like Llama City. Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Petra, you're not scared of her, are you? What? No, she, she's just... She's really manipulative, all right? Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. <laughs> well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Oh, so it's not just you, then? No. I mean, she's changing the rules around on me a lot more than some people, but... Yeah, she does this to lots of people. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit wonderfully. I know you think you like that one, but actually, I think this one is more for you, don't you think? That's right. Come on, you. Oh, Luna, my darling. You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, mm -hmm. look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as I much as I you. do. Oh, boy. Uh, 
Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. That's not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Stop changing the deal around, Stella. It's wrong. Well, I never. The deal hasn't, you know, changed. Sword. I want sword. My sword. We're... I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I... Uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Of oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm still upset about this, Petra. You lied to me. I... Yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Let's see. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh, no. How are we going to get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Be careful. Oh, easy puppies. See, you like bone? This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty funny. She seriously thinks this makes you a hero? Treasure you got from other people? Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. 
Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. Mm. It's, you know, nothing. But how could you pick Champion City? Stella is the worst. I know, I know. It just, uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time, all right? Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. Well, what about loyalty, huh? To your friends? The people who take care of you? Doesn't that mean anything? Of course it does, dummy. But do you really, like, expect me to just hang around waiting for you forever? I've got my own life, my own stuff, too. Really? No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Ha! Hey, ha! Check it out. That's right. It's Patra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they no. can take on... You, you should not be here. Really? This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. I gotta tell you, Stella, I'm actually a little flattered here. Didn't know you thought so highly of me. Uh, no, no, I, I was being sarcastic because I hate you. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened, and I will let you go. <laughs> I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still, Still not my rival. rival. Oh, man. <laughs> Raw. Feels so good to have you back. What? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I already know I don't deserve this back. Oh, I can't stay angry at you, Petra. I'm really disappointed, but I forgive you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Stop that. Or those. Well, it's a lot of creepers. Oh, fair. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Ah! Ew. Oh, cheap sword. Cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. <laughs> so good to have you back. I don't think so. Oh no, you don't! Fuck off! Bosh! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. know how 
we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's got it. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is like your thing or whatever, and it's nice of you to share. <laughs> you are such a cornball, but no problem. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Yeah. Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Mountain, the ice crags of doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. I think you mean best adventurers in town after us. Oh, well, yeah, of course I do. You're not jealous, are you? Because that sounded kind of jealous. Eh, I'm probably just being overly sensitive after everything this morning with the llama stuff. I think that's probably true. I appreciate the honesty. Just because I'm excited to meet these guys doesn't mean that I think you're any less cool. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Derm's Adventure Emporium. Uh, I mean, sup? You push the button. Very, very brave. Thanks for noticing. I am very brave. Always good to see a hero that knows their own worth. <laughs> the warriors One of the hour. Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Jack. So cool. I have lots of names too. The the people of Sky City call me the the Ground Finder. Other people know me as the Wither Slayer. You can call me uh, Jesse. The <sighs> hell, Jesse. Cool names. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? 
Woodland Mansion. Hey, whoa. Yeah, that's what we're here about. Uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, uh, be straight with us, um, Daddy-o. I... that is, uh... um... <laughs> found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah, and it had a yeah. slot with, like, a weird symbol. <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. I don't get it. What's the big deal? It's a glove. There's, there's a hole in the ground. Oh, it's much more than that, friend. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Hunter thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Sup? What are you doing with your hands? I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay, so why don't you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us? Be our guide? Guide? No. Vowed I'd never go back there again. Let me show you something. It's like I said before. World's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh, kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. No. I'm the one the apex hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. Really? I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, <clears throat> lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get to that sea temple. That knowledge is um, my curse. Jack, I get that you're haunted by horrible memories, but that's no reason to sit around moping. What'd you say? 
It's time to go get us some treasure and help you face your demons. Yeah! Sounds to me like a challenge. And no one, and I mean no one, challenges the Velvet Tornado. Me. And gets away with it. Yeah? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Oh, yeah, you've been very cool. Very natural. I'm trying really hard. But I was feeling really good about it back there. Wow. <laughs> Derm, I told you, it's not the admin's mm -hmm. thing. Oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nurm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, Nurmy. Don't blow a gasket. What's got you so excited about this one? <laughs> uh, I'll explain on the way. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Port. Okay, jeez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the firework union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it. Why didn't I factor in rehearsal time? Stupid, stupid. I'm sure I can shift a few things around, maybe push back your lunch with the followers of Soren. They're very strange anyway. They'll understand. Maybe. And did you know Lucas left another draft for you to look at? I said you'd try and give notes when possible, but not to get his hopes up. And then I left a general block of time for Founding Day-related disasters. I figured that would cover any of the various and sundry things that come up. Ah, sorry. Got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends. And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? Oops. There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Hey. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. Yeah, he's pretty hyperactive. I wish I could get him to calm down. Maybe teach him to meditate. Like the knights of the Shuje forest. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, I mean, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. It's just oh. like I always say. I couldn't have done it without my friends. Yeah, friends are the best. <laughs> Love having friends. Hey, 
Wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Well, we all have to start somewhere. Just uh, take it at face value. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, Let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Dune Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. blade in hand and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Yeah, I love doing that move the best. Oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. Hey, can I come too? Oh, yeah, of course. I just assumed you'd be busy, like, running Beacon Town. But, yeah, the more the merrier. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last well, warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Hmm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. Like I've God. been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. So, this temple, it's dangerous then? You don't have any sponge in your ears, do you? Yeah, this place is super dangerous. <laughs> Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... The sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. Hey, uh, how exactly are we going to breathe? I knew a guy that taught me how to hold my breath for ten minutes. 
I mean, that's impressive, but... Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. We're sure that we have all our limbs. How about we find that structure block? Hmm. Uh, I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. process them as statues they're so big right and what's up with their faces they, they don't even look you know like people i know i hate them <gasps> i uh i'm gonna need a sec just to check my enchantments yeah gotta make sure they're all there okay well, I'm gonna scout ahead. Huh? What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Ooh, whoa, it's uh, got me. Move like, your feet. Uh, frozen in place. I don't care if you're swimming through a potion of slowness. Move your feet, Jack, you're being dumb. 
What? Yeah, you're right. I'm better than this. I am better than this. Guys, hey, I found something. Uh, be right there. Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? I mean, she's cool. Really? Yeah, and she's a great adventurer. I don't want her to think, um, some has been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Come on, Jack, you're tougher than this. Buck up. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm freaking Jack. Nothing can stop me. There you go. I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping what? you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Pretty, uh, pretty intense, though. Just remember what we talked about, right, Jack? Yeah, right. You're right. Fuck off! Fuck! Was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. should be able to use those sponges to soak up the floating water the Guardians are in. Water floating in midair? That should be impossible. Mm. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Mm. Oh, you won't listen to me anymore. Guys. Mm. What are you being so fighty, Jack? Come on. Because I refuse to believe that there's some all-powerful dude running around playing games with my life. Well... I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're gonna use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever isn't doing the running. Okay, I'll run and keep the Guardians off your back. You and Jack do the sponges. Okay, everyone, to let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go! Hey, laser lips! Oh, boy. Woo! Zap this. What's it like being ugly and bad at your job? I don't think so. Ah. Oh, made it. Oh yeah. Oh no. Okay. Found them is killed no, by pets. No. Second was killed by me. Sammy. Jack. Jack. Jesse, we've got a Jack problem. So sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack, you almost got us killed. You said you were ready. Hey, I thought I was. I. You're right. I failed. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there. 
That was my friend, Sammy. Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure blocks gotta be close. Thank you. Mine. So one guard, big guardian killed by Petra. Second was killed by Jess. That's a perfect story. Hmm. Prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. Well, at least this temple was nice enough to provide a crafting table. It's always... Lantern, nice. One more. The tides! I'm finally free! <laughs> it has... It has been a very, very long time. <gasps> Vars! Jack! <laughs> Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Wait. How did you survive down here for so long? <laughs> if you sit absolutely still, you'd be amazed at how long a stack of pork chops will last. <laughs> pork chops. <laughs> anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, if I'm not mistaken, You've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. <laughs> you are truly something special. He has his moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Really? Oh. I'd really like to see the sunshine again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. Sorry, Voss. Not until we get the treasure that we came here for. Yep. Uh, even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Well, uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Ugh. More of those weird statues. Well, at least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. Bunch. Okay. That's a bad 
sound. Yep, very bad. Come on, come on, come on! The adventure. I don't get it. What are they? Kind of zombie shapes. They sort of sound like zombies, but those are definitely not zombies. Structure blocks gotta be in here. How do you know? Just a feeling, I guess. <sighs> Creepy. Hey, Nurm, you think you could give me a hand with these? Oh. 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 <sighs> says they say, once the world was flat, no mountains, no rivers, no trees, until the admin uh, built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious malarkey. Must be it. It's gotta be. Look, that symbol. It looks just like the one we saw underground. A structure block. <laughs> Nurm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Huh. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one. What? Fascinating! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Says that's the wall of the builder. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. The builder path. That sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? <laughs> Wow. away? I'm guessing no. Jesse. 
Hawks, here they come! Come on! I'll show you what we did to our enemies in Purgat God! Still behind me, Nerf? Get ready, you guys! Think you're all cool because of how tall you are, huh? Proud of how tall you are? where the structure block goes. Slam it down, Jesse! 
We'll keep the creepers off your back. Think that's really the end of it? Ah, certainly looks that way to me. Then come on, let's go home, you guys. more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey, everyone. Happy Founding Day. <laughs> oh, welcome back. We were worried you'd miss it. You're back! Thank goodness. This is... Ooh, this has been a lot of work. People all need things approved. Or help with building. Or wrangling animals. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing I'm back, huh? You seem a little frazzled. Oh, yeah. It's been a frazzling time. Frazzling. So, did you find what you were searching for? It's like I'm always telling people, teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks to all my friends, we brought this amazing new treasure back. There's nothing we can't do together. Happy Founding Day, everyone. You're welcome. Congratulations. I haven't seen a celebration like this since that crazy summer I spent with the party people of Teatam. Yeah, you really brought home the goods this time. Uh, sorry, I'm still just bummed about losing Miss Butter back there. Oh, yeah, that was an excellent sword. Could have used a grander name, though. No offense. Hey, but look at the big picture, right? We're all alive. That's awesome. Oh, Jack! I, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Boss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? Come on. Yeah, be that long. wait up. about you, though. What's that? Whoa, you dudes heard that too, right? Yes, terrifying. Yeah, what was it? Oh, no. Jesse. Fucker, how dare you? 
thought you could Kill just you. run away from the admin. <laughs> You've really got my attention now. One victory. Come on, stop doing that! <sighs> Finally! So, so, so. 
います。Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought they was. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. suspicious, isn't it? Everybody run, hide! That's the admin and he can destroy us all! Ah! Well, if that, that admin thing wants Jesse, we should just let him have his way. What, sacrifice Jesse? No way, no way! You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? I hope so. You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. I've got an idea for everyone. It involves these, especially this one. Maybe I'll go hide somewhere then. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Bearer. Do not test my patience. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, come in your way. Thanks, Nell. Perfect. Ah, there you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. You are acting very weird, Mr. Admin. What's your game here? Game? Ha! Huh. Why, the greatest game of all. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? Huh? To tempt you down to the sea temple. But now, 
Your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Thank you, your father. You all deserve to win. Fight me, champion. Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Not today, Admin. Beacon Town can take anything you throw at it. <clears throat> Hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Boring? Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. So much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> no. This reminds me of, uh... No, actually, it doesn't. This is pretty bad. These people aren't gonna stand a chance, Jesse. They're in the eye of the storm. You know what the tribe of Kta say. Swords can't block wind. But a whole bunch of obsidian walls can! Structure block time. If you can cause a distraction, I can plant some of these guys. They'll help hold the city. No one's a better distraction than me. Go for it. Hey! Woohoo! Chew on me, monster! I never liked Prismarine anyway! What a liar! Say that to my face and I'll show you who's lying. You are! Ha! I'll make you ah! eat your word! Jesse, hello. Two. The best! Intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. <laughs> if you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. I don't think so. I'll kill you and you deserve it. Sea Temple had the same symbol. Ah! Oh, there we are. All right, Admin, you want to fight? You got one. Here I am. Looking <laughs> 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 a little helpless, champion. Not easy, champion. They're sarcastic. Hey, rock face! Eat this! something uh okay are you all right i mean he really had you up there lucas you just saved my life thank you of course 
<laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. You calm down. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! Angrier! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Yeah. Anything about me. Uh, where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if. Oops. No! How dare you! I wish you hadn't done that, Admin. You don't deserve to live! Oh boy. Really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googly fix me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? Could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? I don't know. If we destroyed that huge thing and he's still alive, that's kind of scary. I don't know how much more Beacon Town can take. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. 
Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. I, my, uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Jesse's left me in charge before. This is a whole new level, though. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Well, yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. It's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. It'll be all right. Damage isn't too terrible. That's a really good outlook. And, um... When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you. I guess is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but it just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I thought I could run Beacon Town and go off on adventures, but a lot of people almost got hurt because of me. Uh, I mean, don't be too hard on yourself, all right? Everyone's fine, and they clearly love you. I, uh, I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Mm -hmm. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Okay. Let's see what we can do for you, buddy.
is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. She should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah. I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. Well, it's not like it was my first battle against an impossible foe. No? Witherstorm. I'll get you the book. It's actually a pretty good read. I think I've got a copy back at the shop. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be <laughs> sure. What you should continue to keep just uh, talking about for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. Oh, okay. yes. Yes, quite. We won't say anything. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. Were you even gonna tell me or were you just gonna sneak off? Of course I was gonna tell you. I was just working up to it. Slowly. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa. Wait, what? He takes This isn't a snow biome. Uh, uh, it is. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but you're being a jerk. You could seriously hurt people. Oh, come yeah, on. Sure. Come on, don't do me like that. I do you it, have to admit, I... You've been having a little fun along the way. All those guardian fish, the temple. Hey, see, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Dear. Again. You hear that? That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane. I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. How oh, dare <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. 
come, is it? Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. You're putting innocent people in danger just for your games? Yeah, well, technically, you're the one putting them in danger if you don't go after the clock. So, uh... Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? What do we want? <laughs> Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is going to be epic. I don't think so. You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye bye now. Ah, we need to protect the people. Run! Hide, everyone! <laughs> now. Feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Hey, Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course! Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I promise. Please. I will come back. Hmm. You stay safe, Nurm, okay? Hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nurm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. We get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another punchier way to convince him. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 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 me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. 
a little time away from Beacon Town. To, I don't know, find myself? You didn't invite me. You didn't even tell me until I caught you. I, I thought you would be busy with all the rebuilding and everything. I, I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you, that you didn't need me anymore. decide the best idea is to ditch me? Uh, see, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. You know, the open road. Right? That's kind of what I thought, too. On that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse? My rival. Should have known I would find you here. Hush, I'm talking. Yeah, hi, Stella. Hi? That's all you have to say for yourself. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jack, was it? As in yeah. the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. You just... wow. It wasn't me that did this, it was the admin. Huh. I don't know who this Adam is, but it seems awfully rude to pin it on him. No, admin. Ad-min. He's like... Oh, he's a big, giant, bad guy. Super powerful. Hmm? All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world, too, after all. You'll see. I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> hmm. I uh, you okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, 
And it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. It looks like the sort of buildings I've always dreamt of building. Hey, found the clock. It's there. Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get... Uh, wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. It's not how my world works, Stella. There are more important things than who has the most power. Huh. I wonder who he would agree with. Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh. How do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah. Really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. Yeah, you've definitely changed, Radar. It's always important to try and grow. Yeah. And I promise, I'll make you proud. Come on. Come on. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite! Mystery levers! of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, uh, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, we'll see how your little companions do, hey? You watch it, Admin. Who exactly made you the judge? Um, my near infinite power? I thought that was obvious. Like I said, Radar, power runs the world. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This, this is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. Okay. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you. Hook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. I'll give you one thing, Admin. This place is pretty spectacular. That's what I like to hear! I knew you'd understand. Oh, ho, ho, I am just ecstatic that you see things my way. Thrilled! <laughs> so... How about we get this show on the road? Oh. 
Nice landing. Ah, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Wait, but what about your people? Champion City. You're totally selling them out. Boy, do you think, Small. If I'm working with the admin, I'll be able to help Champion City even more. I hope. Wow. It's... it's amazing. <laughs> You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. Okay, hang on a sec. I am not the admin's little buddy. <laughs> Just saying. You two were looking pretty chummy up there. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. Uh, hey, now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, don't treat Luna like that. She obviously hates it. I think I know my darling Luna a little better than you do. Really? Let's go, Luna. Well, that is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be... Uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, stating facts. And I guess we're just gonna have to prove how wrong the admin is. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. W wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... That was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. They, they think they, they look at me and my, well, my, my skinny little arms, and, and they think they know me. They think they know me? Well, they are wrong. Dead wrong! I mean, I have been an embarrassment sometimes, but it stops here. It ends today. And I... I guess I'm done. Sorry. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. There are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. We were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. Uh, that's it, Luna, darling. She's got the clock sent. <laughs> Later, losers. We're wasting time. Wait, the admin built this whole place to eliminate people, right? Trick them? Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. It's time for... Be safe, okay? If you're
you're sure. I knew you'd make the smart choice. <sighs> Okay? Definitely. What a rush. <sighs> I'm all right. I'm okay. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm okay. Really. Just getting my adventure legs. I'll be better in a minute. <sighs> no worries. Minecart to the worst. <laughs> yeah, just ooh, feeling real sick. <laughs> Right, Lucas? What? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, definitely. Ooh, minecarts. Uh, you, you guys didn't have to do that. But thanks. I gotta say, if you're having a hard time with the minecarts, you might not like what comes next. Hello there, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood admin. <laughs> Up there. Pretty proud of this challenge, not gonna lie. I was feeling very inspired by the concept of karma. <laughs> I'd tell you why, but well, that spoiled the surprise. I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. This is all... Duh! My town's in danger and you're playing games. It's all games, champion! Winning, losing... That's what life's all about. Now, once you figure that out, you'll be much happier. Let's just say I hope you're feeling good about your archery skills, hmm? Between you and me, though, champion, I'm less worried about your archery than I am about your choice of companions. Let's see if I can shuffle the board a bit, hmm? Give you another pair of hands to help out. <laughs> How? He's no Jesse. But he's better than that other guy, right? Oh, 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 dear. All you need to do is activate the shooting gallery, hit all the targets, and the door will open. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay, but what are those pumpkin heads for? Don't worry, Jesse. We'll figure it out. Just to be fast. targets with. Now I just need a bow. Huh. Great. Time to meet your maker. to have string around.
tear up some targets, huh? <laughs> he really reminds me of us. You know, back in the day, eager to make his mark. Always ready for whatever's around the next corner. I still worry about him. He's got a lot to learn. <laughs> so did we. Man, sometimes I still can't believe how far we've come. Come on. How do you turn this stupid thing on? <laughs> Looks like he needs our help. Come on. Shoot. All right, Button. You're mine. Time for a ball. So cool. All right, Lucas, show the admin who he's messing with. gonna steal some of those moves. Here comes round three. Hard. shot. Almost feels like I made this challenge too easy for you. Oh wait, no, I'm totally messing with you. Time for level two. <laughs> Dear you. Win. Mm -hmm. 
Two wins. Radar, come on! But Faustin, I... Jesse, I don't want to fall! Sometimes you just gotta fake it, Radar. It's hero time! Yeah, okay. This is it, isn't it? <laughs> we did it. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. Hold off those golems. Stage three. has to be somewhere in this place. We'll find him. Taste my bravery? Well, I figured it was appropriate. That was intense. Would it be weird for me to go in for a hug? Because uh, I'm kind of feeling the hug vibe right now. <laughs> oh, wow. You're a good hugger. <laughs> That's better. Petra! Hey, have you guys seen Voss? One second he was with us, and the next, gone! Hello? Help! Um, hello, Hoser? No, 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 no! No one deserves this. Not even Stella. She might be a bit stuck up, and she doesn't really treat anyone that nicely, but... Stella's been totally impossible, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't help her. Ugh. Have a point. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. This is all wrong, people. Wrong. You're not supposed oh, to help each that. other. The losers are supposed to lose. Like spectacles over here. There was no way Radar would have fought his way out of that room without you. You should have just cut him loose. Jettison that baggage. Seeing someone like you held back by that? Oh, painful. I don't get you, Admin. If you didn't want people to succeed, then why build this place at all? You don't get it. I'm trying to separate the diamonds from the gravel here. Rubbish gets dumped. Phoebe, you are rubbish. <sighs> Fine. You convince me. 
It's not often I give second chances. Uh, one condition, though. Hey, no! Ah, 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 no, 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 no! Oh, man! Not good! Ah, ah. No! But he's so small! Let's see how our bucko does on his own, eh? What do you think the chances are without chips? You... through this stupid challenge, but maybe we can find another way. Did anyone... Luna? If that llama can get to the other side of the wall, so can we. Fellow doll, punch! Yeah, never punching through that. Anyone got anything to make a pickaxe? I have some sticks. Three diamonds! Sounds like a diamond pickaxe to me. Going up, and our friends went up, and that's where we're headed to. Uh, hate to point out the obvious, but we can't climb. Oh, now we can.
wasn't the last of the Ender Creeper things. And I still can't see Voss. Jesse, 
Jesse, Jesse, Jesse, I, I just don't understand you. Letting your friends go. Radar? <laughs> he clearly wasn't supposed to make it, despite you dragging him along. Losers are supposed to lose, Jesse. Boss, friend, what are you doing? Why are you saying these things? Hang on, I've heard that before. Of course you have. I've been saying it the whole time. <laughs> Not this body, of course, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? You don't. I'll dig. I'll be evil. Romeo. He's the admin. Oh, you are a smart cookie, Jesse. Of course I am. Boss, the whole time? No, not the whole time, you nitwit. The real Voss would never have survived in my sea temple that long. I am disappointed, Jesse. You obviously just don't have what it takes to really be my friend, my partner. Such a pity. Such a waste. I just can't believe it. You tricked us. You seriously think that's the way to make friends? Oh, come on. It was kind of exciting, right? Sort of a surprise reveal? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Admin, sir. I just wanted to say that I would love to be your partner. But you... lost. Technically, yes. But unlike them, I actually appreciate what you're offering. You don't say. Stella, I don't know if you've noticed, but what he's offering is absolutely crazy. You can't really mean this. No, but I do, Jesse. Jesse, I really appreciate you saving me. Love ya. Mean it. But you obviously don't understand the magnitude of what this... this Paragon is offering. Ah. Uh, Stella, was it? Yes, sir. See, she may not have the skills, but that is a terrific attitude. Your attitude, on the other hand? Oh, well... There's nothing that hurts more than broken hopes. I made this for you. Just for you. And how do you repay me? You cheated! How could you do this to me? How could you do this to us? Oh, that's adorable. They're mad they got manipulated. I should be mad that I had to waste all that time looking like that crusty old adventurer. I gave you so many chances. What? <laughs> it hasn't all been to waste. No, no. You might not be worthy. What? Jack here was the winner. Oh, don't get me wrong. There are quite a few flaws we'll have to work through, but we'll get there. In time? No! You can't! Oh, Jack! Where did he go? Oh, don't even worry about it. It's not for a loser like you to worry about where the cool people go. Jack! No! <laughs> Shh! Like I said, not for you guys to worry about. The only loser I see here is you. What? It is, uh... I'm done letting you make me feel bad. I prefer to feel good. And I'm gonna feel real good when I send you two to a place where you'll never see the light of day. Ever. Again. No! Get you for this, you fucking psychopath! Jayha's block. Time out.
must be a special class of trouble to end up here. The admin, well, this is where he sends the people who he has special plans for. You may have noticed, it's not a very nice place. And the people, well, they're not very nice either. <laughs> Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The world can be a very scary place. Villains can be larger than life. And almost impossible to defeat. The stress of saving the world can turn even the best of friends against each other. And not everyone will be on your side. Some will try to take advantage of your kindness. But a true hero will know exactly what to do. And will inspire others to do the same. But the scariest thing of all, even for the bravest hero, is discovering the villain is much closer than you think. The real hell begins now. It's for hero to zero. my friends the guest will kindly follow the orange line in the floor to the check-in zone so, 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 so. the guest will kindly Lock follow you. the orange line in the floor to the check-in zone so, so, so. ahem throat clearing sound The guest will kindly follow the orange line on the floor to the check-in zone. Yeah, I heard you. Reformatory for people the admin has found difficult. I'll be your warden. 
So the admin created this nut hut too, huh? Of course. The admin is an endless source of building brilliance. Including this beautiful behavioral adjustment retreat center. So it's a prison. Hey, no, no, we don't use the P word here. But it is a prison. Let's not challenge authority. The admin doesn't let us use that word, so we don't use that word. Understand? Y you know he's not here right now, right? You never know. What about my friends? I need to get back. The admin put his gauntlet on one of them. Who knows what he's making them do? He gave them the gauntlet? Oh, man, lucky them. That means they're the admin's favorite. <laughs> How great would that be? I bet your friend is living it up. Enjoying the high life right by the admin's side. Great? It's more like stressful, dangerous. No two ways around it. It straight up stinks. That's exactly the kind of attitude that got you sent here. And if your friends are anything like you, they'll be making their journey to Betterment right next to you, I'm sure. Now hang on a tick. I have a... Another guest on my manifest. Female, hothead. Favorite weapon? Sword. Favorite tool? Sword. Favorite food? Sword? You gotta distract him. Petra, that's definitely Petra. Jesse! Oh man, I am so happy I found you. This freaking place. I right, know, let's get out of here. Wait, you can't, it's too dangerous. Stop them, associates! Feeling shouty? Shouty, punchy, butt kicky, freaking admin, he tricked us. He tricked me. Oh, it just makes me want to scream again. Yeah, I can't believe the admin tricked us into thinking he was really boss. Yeah, he's good at disguises. But I'm good at punching, and I look forward to showing him that personally. And the admin has Jack. Ugh, it never ends with that guy. <sighs> Looks like we're trapped. Not gonna lie to you, Jesse. Not sure how we're gonna get out of this one. Hey, sound the alarm! <sighs> we'll never make it through like Danger. this. And we run! Where? Wherever they aren't. where we are. What is that? Gotcha, kid. 
you. Oh, really wish I had that gauntlet right about now. Yeah, maybe not this way. in an escape attempt. <sighs> what did you spit, fucker? That is just... That is just rude. Take this one to the mushroom. <laughs> and bring that one to my office. Now. Close the door, would you? Do as you're told. Uh, sure. Obedient. Good. You and your band of misfits may have hope yet. Band of misfits? Oh, let me show you. Radar! Nerm! You see, here at the Sunshine Institute, there are two types of guests. People who make the admin extra angry, such as yourself, and your punch-happy friend down there. And there are people who the admin sends to make sure the first group will be, uh, well-behaved. Your friend, with the glasses, is surprisingly feisty for such a skinny guy. If you know what's good for you, Warden, you'll let them go. Oh, I'm sorry, but threats definitely fall under the category of not well-behaved. Bring up Jesse's leverage, would you? Skinny guy, glasses? Are you done? Funny story. When I first got here, I was actually part of the second group. We were just a crazy couple of griefers. Simpler times. No, 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 this place is filthy! Ah, ah, so disorganized! Ah, make me crazy! Jesse! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay! I was so, I was so worried! Radar, stop struggling, okay? We need to be obedient and listen to the nice warden here. Wait, what? Jesse? I'm confused. Meet 
The Iron Breath Taker. Iron bars to hold the victim in place below. Sticky piston above to shove an iron block down over their head. Be obedient. Be obedient. <laughs> Now, I said before that you could follow in my footsteps. That could start now. Ready to improve that pesky bad behavior of yours and join the good guys? Work for me as an associate and help bring order to these poor, chaotic individuals. Don't do it, Jesse! <laughs> What's it gonna be? Okay, I'll do it, just stop. Oh, that's so great to hear. Hi, <gasps> that was so dark. <sighs> easy, easy there. Radar, was it? You just had quite the harrowing experience. But don't worry. Our newest guard, er, associate, will be walking you out. Jesse, no. I don't know how much more of this I can take. <laughs> when times get tough, get tougher. So come on, Radar, show me some tough stuff. Right. This is prison. Never show fear. Well, well, well. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Stella? W what are... How? Well, I appreciate you letting me out of that ice. I can't let that disrupt the new professional relationship we have now, okay? I'm sure you understand. I knew a day of reckoning would come for my rival. Ah, you two know each other? <laughs> yeah, still not your rival. Never was, never will be. Careful, Warden. This one's crafty with the mind games. Now, come on, Jesse. No one wants a sour rival. Be like me. I'm a shining example of success. I barely arrived, and I'm already bossing you around. <laughs> Isn't it grand? Let's go, Randall. It's Radar! Uh, that's what I said. Come on. <sighs> Stella's right. Commitment and loyalty to the admin's cause are cornerstones around here. The more friends stick together, the harder they make it for each other. So maybe... readjust your concerns. If anyone here needs a friend, it's you, Warden. Ever since the admin sent me here, I... What are you hiding, Warden? Not every prisoner here wears orange, Jesse. Let's go, rival! That's right! Go along, Jesse, to the mushroom! Exactly what I was going to suggest. I'll have your job before you know it, Warden. Be careful um, what you wish oh, for, wait, Stella. Then. Get the thermal death per all game victory. Would ya? Thanks. Excuse me? <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? We don't have a problem, do we? I need a moment to process. Maybe several moments. Ta-ta, Jesse! I'll be at my post supervising a more impressive salt block. Don't be too jealous. Or do. I wouldn't blame you. Okay, Radar? Wish I was. I need something to eat. Get my strength back. <laughs> You're in the right place. Guests make mushrooms too here. Guess I just need some mushrooms then. There's one! Mushroom! Gonna starve. Waste away. Oof. 
No more radar. I'll find some food for you. Just rest. Resting. Thanks, Jesse. So fighting over a tiny handful of mushrooms is the only way they can eat? Mm, mm. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. That cookie looks good, dude. I know, right? Wait, did you eat all yours already? What? Uh, how do you get them? <sighs> okay, look. I thought you knew. The guards have a delicate supply of ingredients, none of which are approved by the warden. these cocoa beans. I don't have any wheat for you, but I can tell you who does. That pal of Gruesome can set you up with the wheat. He's my source. Don't know why he collects so much wheat, but nobody makes cookies around here without ox blood. Where does he get the wheat? Nobody knows, but he's got his reasons, I guess. Look, just put the screws to him. He's a guest, and you're an associate. He'll play ball. Contraband in this facility, and I am nothing if not a stickler for the rules. You know how things work around here. I'm an associate, you're a guest. Oh, you're gonna play that part, are you? Ugh. You better remember this. I want special treatment from now on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come here. Wheat? And cocoa beans. All yours, Jesse. No way! I've been down here for too long. I can't stand another second! Whoa! Nothing personal. I'm just mega, mega hungry. I don't think so. Ah, give me that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just so hungry. Uh, <clears throat> hello? What's going on in here? Jesse? I expect far better from my associates than this. One cookie's not that big of a deal. One cookie's not that big of a deal. And just who does this contraband belong to, hmm? <laughs> you all know that weapons are strictly forbidden at the Sunshine Institute. So who does this belong to? You might as well just come out and tell me. It'll be so much easier for everyone. That guy attacked me with it! Hmm. What refreshing honesty. More like what a refreshing lie, you mean, you rotten snitch! You know that misbehavior means getting sent down a level. And that means... No! Not the zombie mines! Not the zombie mines! Yes. <laughs> Perhaps a little time harvesting rotten flesh will teach you something. Take him away. Well done, associate. You've successfully apprehended your first contraband. Keep up the good work. That's it. At least now I can make a cookie for radar. Don't give up. I hope you're learning how to be a cooperative champion. Wait, what? Is that the admin? You are all here to be reminded of your potential. It's a recording? Come on. And I hope you'll see it in yourself, as I do. Because if you don't, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, eh? In the meantime, demonstrate your cooperative potential and you just may become the ultimate champion! Well, it's not much, but hopefully it'll help Radar get his strength back. Faster, faster, go fast. Helping 
Here, eat this. Get your strength back. Thanks, Jesse. I really appreciate... Uh, yeah, sure, thanks, whatever. Right. Let that be your mantra. Good day. Interesting attitude there, buddy. I'm gonna have to really step it up. I mean, this is prison. So from now on... I'm prison radar. I'm gonna get my own mushrooms. Make my own stew. Disregard my bedtime. Break whatever rules I feel like. Hey, that's the spirit radar. You look awesome. Really? Thanks. Whose names might rhyme with Nessie? Just find that out there. Now, get out of here, guard. It's time for prison radar to show this world what he's made of. That's right. Come at me, dude. What's going prisoner on? Prisoner X has escaped. I repeat, Prisoner X has escaped. All guests, please report to the nearest lounge. I think they mean cell. Yep, you should get in one too. You haven't had your protocol X training yet. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Prisoner X? Sorry. Yeah, apparently she's this infamous prisoner who they have to keep locked up super tight. Always escaping. They say she even knows her way through that maze. Apparently she's locked up way deep in the prison. That sounds like the sort of person we should get on our side. Yeah, no kidding. We might be able to get out of here yet with someone like that. But where is she exactly? According to NERM's sources, Prisoner X is locked up in the deepest, darkest here, level of the Sunshine Institute. Cell Block X. Uh, detecting a theme with the names. Yeah, they're As big I on that X thing. We need to get to Cell Block X. Way I heard it, you can't just get into Cell Block X. But it sounds like the zombie mines are right next door. If we can go down to the mines, maybe we can find this Zara person. Well, you're doing this whole associate thing, right? Maybe you can get the warden to, like, promote you. Might be worth a shot, even if the warden is kind of a dork. Gross. I don't want to work for him. That guy's a weirdo. Yeah, but it'd be yeah. real helpful having someone on the inside. Working the joint to our benefit. Prison radar approves. Okay, it's a plan. You stay here and rest Three up. Hour four. I'm gonna find a way to get us to cell block X. Roger that, Jesse. But how to get promoted? guy sure looks suspicious. If I can catch him doing something against the rules, maybe I can get promoted. Very good. get in. Secret buttons. Nice. Now we're on to something. Okay, time to see what tall, red, and gruesome is hiding. Okay, looks like the buttons move the blocks. to see me being this impressive. Hmm. Uh, a mooshroom? What the heck are you doing here? 
Sounded me like I could ask you the same question. <laughs> Mind explaining what you're doing in my most private of spaces? Visitors ain't welcome, and you are most definitely a visitor. Just looking for cell block X, big guy. Well, it ain't here, short stack. If you hadn't noticed, you left the hole open. Get out of my cell before you regret getting in it. Did I hear mooing? Oh, come on! Excellent work, new associate. You see, this is how you get promoted. Work your way up. But first, to maintain order. This creature cannot be allowed to undo the balance of the mushroom. You shear it, uh, would you, Jesse? But then it'll be... An ordinary cow, yes. You know, bringing back the balance of the mushroom. Now, that was obvious. What? No! Don't do it, Jesse. Not liking your hesitation here, Jesse. You can't. You won't. You do want to be promoted, don't you? <laughs> Kiss in my ass. Yeah. Ain't happening, Warden. Deal with it. I'm ordering you! No! Deal with it. Take it away! No! Not my Jeffy! <laughs> I trusted you, Jesse. You are no longer an associate. You've been demoted to guest, and as a consequence for your actions, dig it up. What the heck are you doing? Teaching you a lesson, Jesse. No more mycelium. They'll starve. You and your friends will be relocated to the lower levels. The zombie mines. Well, Good isn't you. this a treat? My rambunctious rival is now my poor prisoner. Get moving. Well, we needed to go to the lower levels anyway. Let's hope they're survivable. Good decision. Zombie minds, Jesse. Oh, just when you think you've seen it all, what exactly is this place? Every few minutes, a million gross zombies spawn. The equally gross prisoners dispatch them and collect the zombie flesh, which is... Gross. I, I get it, but why? Don't know. Don't care. Do your job. Zombies won't fight themselves, so get to fighting. I don't know, Stella. I think you do care. Nice try, Jesse. Your twisty little mind game twistery isn't gonna work. You're nuts if you think I'm helping you. You brought this on yourself, Jesse. I don't get it. You could have just joined the admin and never had to suffer a second. Instead, you chose to throw it all in the lava pit. I think all of those people cheering for you 24-7 have made you delusional. Made you think that you can just that will change the world. <laughs> it's sad is what it is. I'm just trying to get out of here. I thought this might work. There is no way out of here. Get used to that. I'll give you one piece of advice. Just one. Try not to cause any more trouble. If you do, you'll get sent to Maximum. With her. Who's in there? You must have heard those alarms earlier. That was Prisoner X. She tried to escape, but they got her back. And she, she scares me. You don't want to end up in there. So play nice. Come along, Luna. Ah. What was that about? Sounds like that vent is our way to Prisoner X.
Hey, what is this? Oh, the big guy, Oxblood, was down for a while and headbutted the wall. Not sure why, but man, he has a hard head. We just haven't fixed it yet. There's redstone behind the wall. Nice. Hmm, I wonder what it connects to. Gotta be a way in, but this door won't budge. Hey, don't even bother trying to get in. See those item frames? Only the admin and the warden have the right items. They could be anything. Besides, why would you want into Prisoner X's cell? That's just bonkers. Stay away. Yeah, what dummy would want that, huh? Yeah, Prisoner X hates everyone. Even other guests like yourself. Don't even think about going in. Hmm, so that redstone leads to this door. I can bypass the redstone circuit. I can open the door. Hey, guys, over here. What did you find? We need to find something to bypass a redstone circuit and get this door open. This will lead us to Prisoner X. She can help us get out of here for good. Hey, Jesse, stop loafing around. Shut you know, up, we do know someone who came from the outside who might have all her inventory. Ah, uh, Stella. You know, Jesse, guests and associates really shouldn't be mingling. Yeah, uh, about that. I, uh, need your help. I need to make a lever. Pronto. Why, exactly? Not that I, you know, really care. You want the truth? I'm trying to escape. As much as I admire you actually telling the truth, there's not a creeper's chance in a cat pack. Not helping you here. No, not risking angering the admin. I had to really prove myself to get this gig as it is. Not giving it up for you. He's just using you. How can you not see that? No, uh, it's, uh, mutual. We're, you know, using each other, I think. Maybe you make some good points, but not enough of them. I have a place here. Respect. You know, and power, and the, yeah, the works. It's actually very prestigious. Many, many people would love to have this position. Yeah, but what about Champion City? You're gonna abandon them? <laughs> Absolutely not. They'll be fine. They will be just... Oh, no, yeah, I'm only kidding. I have done so much for them in the past, I mean, they can barely make bread without me supervising. Okay, look, maybe this isn't my dream destination. This place is horrible, and I am worried I will never get the smell out of my hair. Here's the cobblestone and stick. But you need to get me out of here. I know we've had our issues, but I also know that you're a hero or whatever. Uh, sure, Stella, we'd be happy to have you. If you're happy, I'm happy. No matter how many worlds I see, it always seems to come back to levers. Let's do this. Zombie wave incoming! Prepare yourself!
You fucking cyborg. Jesse. Why am I not surprised? Admin? It's not enough that you disregarded all the rules in my icy palace of doom, tried to upset the delicate order of the Sunshine Institute. Now you're trying to disrupt the therapeutic benefits of my zombie mine? What gives? Pretty sure your fellow inmates were just trying to peacefully live out the rest of their captivities. Well, after you came to Beacon Town and wrecked everything, it seemed like the least I could do. It's terribly rude, is what it is. <laughs> Edmund! Sir! I'm very disappointed in you, Warden. I I'm ju I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just a nervous eater. I'm sorry. Ugh, no, not that. I'm disappointed that you couldn't keep Jesse in line for one measly day. I was just trying to do my job, and now I'm in trouble because of you. This job isn't easy to begin with. You deserve it. You run a prison, Warden. Of course I'm not going to make your life easy. What did you expect? Oh, for the love of... Enough! I'm through and you disappoint me. And that goes for you, and you, and you, and especially you. And as for you, I've been looking for an opportunity for you to prove your loyalty. To prove your worth as my champion. I suggest you pull out your sword and attack Jesse. And as for you, Jesse, well, don't think I don't believe in fair play. <laughs> now we'll have some real fun. No! I had such high hopes for you, Jesse. The highest of hopes. You could have been my champion. You gave it up. You dared to eat me? No, I can't. This isn't happening. Help, Jack! Mouth shut, ears open. We only have one chance here. I'm going to head over to the admin and we'll both attack him. Trust me, friend. Good. Now, Jesse! Fuck you! <laughs> you're, you're joking, right? That's your big idea. Swords can't hurt me. It's not fair! Uh-oh. Oh, all I have to do is fight your friend to the death, and you can't even do that. What did you expect, you psycho? I don't want you to be my friend anymore, and I don't want you to be my friend either. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, this whole place can burn to the ground. What about Prisoner X? What about all of us? The Institute remains inescapable. So what do I care? I'm leaving. And I'm never thinking about any of you ever again. So I'll just be my own friend now. 
Can't dwell on the setbacks. Gotta keep looking forward. Do you even listen to yourself when you talk? That made zero sense. To you, maybe. But I don't care what you think. <sighs> I'm gonna have loads of friends soon. After all. Everyone loves Jesse, right? You no. fucking psycho! <gasps> no way! You're coming? I got your back, Jesse. Trust me. I take care of Luna for me. Coming, darling admin! Stella is just the beginning. Your other friends will fall in line, too. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, all of them. Don't worry. I'll take good care of Beacon Town. <laughs> He's gone. Jesse, we gotta stop him. Jack! Look, I am sorry, everyone. I, I can't... I just... I'm sorry. Uh, shut up with the sorries, you doof. Please see if we can find Zara. Let's hope Prisoner X is really our ticket out of here. Almost full hour. It's very long. Fire. Man, am I glad you're okay, Jack. Hmm. Yeah, uh, it got a little. Dicey there for a while, didn't it? I mean, after what happened with not Voss, then I was in the admin's freaky place and, and uh, not in control of what I was I was uh, doing. I was in pain. I, I I I was so scared that you all give up on me. Hey, that's that sounds horrible. Jack, we would never give up on you. Yeah, hey. I appreciate that, but if you'd seen what I'd seen, Beacon Town was already worried about you, Jesse. Wondering where you were, wondering if you were okay. I'm sure the admin is heading there right now. Wearing Jesse's mug to boot. It's freaking messed up, yo. It's true. Identity theft is no joke. Admin will wish he had never even seen my face when I'm done with him. No one wears my face except for me. We made it. Wow. some intense security. Just stick close to Jesse, all right? Mm. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Yeah, you guys go on. Get Prisoner X. If I wanted to imprison the dreaded Prisoner X, that's where I'd do it. I think that's where we need to go. have to do is cross this conduit, reach the platform, jump down, and not die. Mm. Come on, I think we can make that jump. Oh. You're up next, Nerm. Alright, please. Okay. Oh. okay, now you, Loon. <laughs> Seriously, how do you do that? Jump. That's 
That's it. Jesse, you must be Prisoner X. <sighs> Bold of you to come here, not knowing who you're dealing with. I could shove you right into that lava, and you deserve it for being so trusting, so gullible. Just one little push. Do it, and you're stuck here forever. So this is a rescue attempt? Oh, how heroic. Look, Prisoner X... Zara! You're supposed to know how to get out of here, right? What? Where did you get that idea? Oh. No one's ever escaped the Sunshine Institute. You try to escape all the time. Why would you do that if you didn't know the way out? I get bored from time to time. I like to stretch my legs, beat up a few guards. It doesn't mean a thing. The admin stole my identity and he's running around with my face doing horrible things in my name. Gotta get out of here now! Romeo was here. Yeah. Just now? Well, um, the admin was, but who's... Romeo. That's his real name. You didn't think admin was his given name, did you? He would want you to think that. Of course he would. That was not the name I was expecting. Like Jesse is any better? I'm not judging, just surprised. But Jesse is better, it's much better. You must really be something if you made him so mad. He almost never comes down here in person, except to put the Warden's feet to the fire from time to time. Well, there is no more Warden. The admin fired him. That's fantastic. We won't have any trouble escaping with that little creep out of the picture. So now you want to help any me? Any enemy of Romeo is a friend of mine, I always say. Well, I've never technically said that. But I think it sounds pretty good. Oh, so glad you changed your mind. You changed my mind, Jesse. You're obviously a formidable ally. But don't forget, you do need me. I'm the only one who knows the way out. If you know the way, then show me. Let's get out of here. Just one problem. This whole room is rigged to explode if I step one foot out of it. Explode? Take a look around. If someone doesn't stand on at least one of these pressure plates on the floor, these sticky pistons will retract. Lava meets TNT. And then the whole place blows up before you can say kaboom. Kaboom. <laughs> That's a stone pressure plate. That means I can't just use a block. Oh, it's fine. One of your silly companions can stay behind. The rest of us can go. That's the situation. Hey, you tricked us. You did this on purpose. Well, perhaps I did. But I couldn't be sure you'd agree to do this, could I now? Oh, I hate to be a wet slime about all of this, but we have to get moving. I can't just leave them here. Then just leave one of them here. As long as one pressure plate is stood upon, the trap won't spring. So either the villager or the llama must remain behind. Hey. Hey. Oh. Nerm, no, you can't do that. Oh. oh, come on. We seriously don't have time for this. I'm leaving. If you're interested in escaping the Sunshine Institute alive, I suggest you do the same. How did you 
My straight jacket? Oh, that was the easy part. If you're done with your tearful goodbyes, we have a prison to escape from. This is Zara. Zara, the guys. Hello. Where, uh, where's Nerm? Oh, your villager friend offered to take my place so my cell's booby traps wouldn't go off. <gasps> what? No. He... he did that? And you let him? Nerm did it to save us. You would have been proud of him. I mean, of course I, I would have been. I... I always am. <sighs> well, no matter what it takes, no matter how many heads I have to clobber, I will get him back. She better be worth it. Trust me, I'm worth it. Ugh, can we get going, or is the reunion still underway? Yeah, we're going, we're going. Come on. have escaped their lounges! The warden's been fired! <laughs> Zombie meat is back on the menu! When I find that warden, I'm gonna make him pay for what he put me through! Yipes. Wouldn't want to be the warden right now. Every prisoner in this place wants to tear him to pieces. He better watch his back. And his front, and his side. Yeah, lots of watching in his future. It's what he deserves. I won't be losing any sleep over it. Uh, I wonder what the warden will lose when the prisoners find him. <laughs> Let's see if they left us any weapons. Weapons! Sweet, sweet weapons! Take the enchanted iron sword or the diamond sword with no enchantment. The diamond sword will last longer, but the iron sword is enchanted with sharpness. Not bad, hmm. Good. Okay, definitely feeling better with a sword in my hand again. Agreed. Versatile. <laughs> I don't know much about llama fashion, but that's a good look, Luna. Looking good, gang. Now let's. G E O F F. That spells my best friend. <laughs> Love you, Jeffy. Friends reunited. It's a prison miracle. No. I guess Jesse does seem like good people. Oh, jeez. You're holding us up. Move along. Now. Prisoner X. Oh, jeez. I don't want no trouble. I'm out of here. Come along, Jeffy. That was frighteningly effective. Well, now that that's over with, can we get moving now, please? a super weapon. It's no way to defeat all hell. The opening should be just around this corner. We have a situation here. Back! Back! All of you! One more step and it's Kaboomsville! Jesse! Warden, what's going on here? Hey! You're one of us! Help us beat up the Warden! It'll be a good team building exercise! Plus... We beat up the warden! Win-win! Oh, it's the happy little jerk who didn't like my happy little painting. I'll bet. You're not so happy now, are you? 
Jesse, you freed Prisoner X? Just when I thought you couldn't ruin my life anymore! What in the world were you thinking? Holy crud! It's Prisoner X! I think you've clearly lost your mind. She is bad news. Actually, no, she is way worse than bad news. She doesn't deserve to be locked up. None of us do. Did you know she was once an admin, too? The admin had to take her powers away. She tried to destroy him. I promised the admin I'd never let her free, no matter what. And I'll keep that promise. Even if I need to blow us all up to do it! <sighs> Why are you all staring at me? It's making me uncomfortable. So is it true what he said about you? You were an admin? Well, it's complicated. We want answers, Zara. Yes, I was an admin. Ages ago, Romeo took my admin powers away from me just before he banished me to this pitiful prison. But I'm not the villain here. Romeo and his little warden were the ones who put you down here, not me. So glare in another direction. I'm innocent. You're just another victim of the admin, just like the rest of us. And there will be a lot more victims if he isn't stopped soon. Believe a word she says, Jesse. She'll say whatever she can to get in your good graces. Wait, so an admin can be stripped of their powers? Ugh, it's not simple, but yes. So what do we... We don't have time for this. It won't be long before Romeo finds out what's happened down here. Yeah, I guess we should keep moving. Follow me. I can go with her, Jesse. I don't trust her. Petra, you haven't seen what the admin is capable of. We need any help we can find. Yeah, really? Her? I don't exactly have another ex-admin in my inventory, Petra. Jack's right. We need Zara's help. It's the only way. I just hope you're right. Don't forget that she used to be an admin, too. Focus. Focus. 
<laughs> yeah. Just let me think! Sure it's just thinking? Ugh! It's fine. Even if there's a setback, we can still get out of this. Not exactly a vote of confidence, but I'll take it. Wait! We can just build to the top of the wall and get to the other side that way! Yeah! Sounds good to me. Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. We won't wait to do Whoa. <sighs> what do you know? There it is. Hey, wait, where are you going? She ditched us! Hit me. Look 
like it hurt. I think that's its weak point. Try for the easy to gain. my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, there it is, guys. Our ticket out of here. That is sparkly. The sparkliest. Is that... diamond? <laughs> Where is everyone? That maniac is gonna get herself killed. Would that be such a bad thing? We should lend her a hand, shouldn't we? Maybe we should just go. But she sounds like she's in serious trouble. Jack. We need to think about ourselves, too. And the tower is right there. We're not abandoning her. I told her I'd help her escape. It's time to prove it. We yeah, can't just leave cool. her. Come on. Ugh. I can't believe we're risking our lives for another admin. Show us the way. I know you didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Let's go. I'm not a very trusting person. Romeo betrayed me. I have trouble getting along with others. I'm not much of a people person anymore. If I ever really was, it's gone now. We've all suffered because of the admin. And some have suffered much worse. There's something else you should know. There was a third admin named Fred. Where is he? Dead. He and I fought Romeo for control of the world. We lost. Uh, where's the rest of it? Yeah, how are we supposed to escape? This doesn't even go up that far. That's because we're not going up. We're going down. Down? There is no down. We're standing on bedrock. You can't go any lower. You might think so, but that's where we need to go. Below the bedrock. Below. Everybody knows there's nothing under the bedrock except nothing. And also certain death. I really do want to believe you. Then believe me. I'd rather take my chances in the maze than listen to any more of her lies. Any of you are welcome to join me. That's crazy talk, all those monsters. I don't care. She's an admin. An admin killed Boss, then stole his identity, and then... Remember I told you he took my admin powers away? Well, down there lies the secret to taking Romeo's powers from him forever. Fred, the third admin, discovered it. Jesse, help me dig through this tower. Go fast. See? I told you. These stairs lead to our salvation. Now there's a good reason to get a move on.
I can't let anyone run around disguised as me or my friends. The amount of chaos they could cause is, well, it's unthinkable. That's why I summoned you. Track them down. Make sure they're behaving themselves. Jeez. Run, 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 Jesse. As fast as you can. <laughs> Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a bow who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some. Join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen. If you dig too deep... Everyone, everybody safe? Yeah, 
Everyone except Nurm. Can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Nurm wanted to stay, Jack. You have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. Must be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone, exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. Still, seeing it like this. Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. So. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and it was slow. You watched your friend die. That's awful. It does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? I've ever seen. Romeo never could live well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying. So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. Mesmerizing. Near the edge. Not in the eyes, Raynor. Don't look at its eyes. <gasps> Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go. Going. Dismantling the tower! My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. Do, do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go.
not asking for me, cause, cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The Oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's... home? Home? <laughs> Wow, you kind of oversold this one. This place looks terrible. I... I didn't know. It was... beautiful. It was... Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you walking carpet. <laughs> Yourself. You, uh, <laughs> you okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <laughs> Disgusting spit everywhere. Not good for anything. No useful skills. Can't make maps. No sense of humor. Terrible conversationalist. Hey, at least she's cute, right? <laughs> Most of the time. I guess. Yeah, she's okay. Sorry, Luna. We'll get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh... I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <laughs> Look! This! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? Ah! Wow. Come on, guys. Be nice. I'm being as nice as I possibly can. No, no, you're right. Sorry, Jesse. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing, Thing still whole. There's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. Uh, avenge your, your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you? over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. You want to destroy Romeo, don't you? Make him pay for what he did to you, your town? Then you have to get up. Not much use stuck down here. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara. If you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even better? I don't get it. Why don't you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. I'm tired of the admin doing whatever he wants. Stealing my face, my, my town, my friends. I want my life back, and Fred's weapon is the only way to do it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. 
That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll time see what to I fight. Can do. I need time. Big monkey. Come on. Come and get me. Dodge. And hit. Hit. Sorry, said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead. Here we come! Jesse, we can find another way. Your swords or splat, flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> splat. Ooh. No deal. Yeah, well oh that's dear, disappointing. Yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, squishies. Well, this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah. Jack? Jack? Sorry, 
sorry about your pal. Hope that sword was worth it. <laughs> See ya! Jesse! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Where's Jack? He didn't make it. And then he was gone. Did you see him land? Oh no. Jack. He he can't be. Jesse? He he'll be fine, right? Jack will be okay, buddy. He's got perfect muscle memory, remember? Bet he's had to dive off a cliff or two in his day. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right. Thanks, Jesse. Wait. What about Luna? What about her? She's a treasure-sniffing llama, right? Treasure-sniffing, not jack-sniffing. I don't think Luna would be much help here. Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Strangers! Strangers! Binta! What do we do here, Jesse? We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. All right. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? We're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Yeah, that's kind of an understatement. How can they care about trivia when their whole world's falling apart? I don't know. I kind of like... Never mind. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. If you don't tell me what you're after, I'm afraid I can't help you. We're here to help our town. I understand wanting to help your people, but I can't just let you in. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. All right. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Start Good luck. Research. All right. This so place is weird. First punch. Nice. Just don't give up.
frequently use these. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet. But you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. We don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him he to call dog. out that chicken's name? What that? Let me guess. Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done prompt-like. I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. All right, time to make a painting. Here you go, all done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color, not just any blue, lapis blue. Lapis blue. Oh. Same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> you are, wow, you are really cute. Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. playing chase. Go get him. Dog? What are you... Oh, no! Waffles! Waffles, come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's Waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. I'm ready now. Ready to begin? I'm ready. Yeah. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather around, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion Kent. And we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude. Kent, be my best friend! No, I wouldn't be so sure of that, Kent. Fred is my middle name. Yeah, a likely story. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin!
nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? what? How can you say that? That... that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. <laughs> Though... I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, no, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Easy. Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! His favorite color was lapis blue. Five that out. is correct! Well done! Next question. Kent. Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine, feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Jesse, well done. I two, am two. rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever double. answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... <laughs> yes! Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's you right, Jesse! <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. I love them. Thank you. what you're looking for. All right, then. Huh, kind of cozy. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? All right, but first, the bed. No one Jump would mind the if I just... <laughs> Secret room. There's hey. gotta be something down here. Don't give up. 
three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. So. That this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. Yeah. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. That's fine. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's too long. It's not common knowledge. And it was shared with me in great confidence before... I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in... Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon I don't know why Fred would have one not the weapon exactly but some promising clues Romeo Zara and Fred had a cabin that they called home we need to find it Romeo did they say Romeo the admin? yes the admin right now he's in our town pretending to be me we need to stop him problem is we don't know where the cabin is I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. Of course, but I don't want to get your hopes up. We're not 100% sure our way will work yet. Thank you. A chance is something more than we have now. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very um, welcome. Then... I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Where did... Hey, give that back! <laughs> Ugh, thanks. I 
I can't believe how obsessed those people were with that Fred guy. So weird, right? I mean, were they really that different from you with Jesse? I, what? No, it, I, I am a stone cold professional. My interest in Jesse was completely professional. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. It was! Ha, a likely story. Uh, well, you were the one who was totally obsessed with Jack. I am so sorry! So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Cracks out, everybody brace yourselves! Ugh! Uh, uh. uh, rough ride! No, not for you. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah! What's up with. I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse! Ivor? <clears throat> yes. It is I, your friend Ivor. I'm gonna need you now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character, but eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all. So I said yes! Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors. All as part of my so-called training. At first, it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, Strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Huh? Yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Nope, really did not. Not even a little bit. I see a smile. Get in here, Petra! What? No, no. So awesome. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did at first. How could I not? 
Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Ivor, even coming from you, that is one dumb plan. Duh. Yep. Oh, give me a break, would you? The admin has made everything very confusing. I'm a desperate man. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie, and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, ninja. that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? Come. It needs to be plausible, oh. but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Parents! What? You, uh, could say Jesse was pecked to death by parrots. Deadly prison parrots. Yes, I am definitely going with that. And I look forward to getting to know you better. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? <laughs> we need it. <laughs> That's why. Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah! Idiot. You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor? Nuh-uh. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. I don't know how long you did, but I need to hang along. Not like this. right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along. Don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll it's sick our idiot. army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. I fought creepers, zombies, a giant computer, a wither storm. Bring out your army. We can take it. You are not leaving. <laughs> you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. Idiot. <laughs> oh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just just uh, took a power nap. That's now a they're weak stronger excuse. than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the. 
biggest army you've ever heard, right here. Is that an audio disc? You're an audio disc. Yeah, what kind of Idiot. morons would have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapet? Fine. You have outfoiled us. We don't have an army. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Wolf, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's Anyone fun. who escaped it's that hard. place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, you've got a pet llama too. Yeah, yeah, she's my pet. We've got a real bond. Yeah, oh, so I can see. <laughs> this place is wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman or a huge flower. Just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Treasure sniffing llama, eh?
Good thinking, Luna. Don't be that you soon. I hope. Waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? I'll cover you. Yes. 
easy. All right, mine them down to size. <laughs> asking. Take a look around. Let's go. Go, go, go. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Someone, you, broke it. Uh-huh. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb Don't stuff like that. Me, puppies, Petra. little chickens. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It, it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... I... 
kind of thought you liked it that way. You've always had this I don't need anybody thing going on. I know. I just thought I could convince myself, I guess. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. I know we've drifted apart, but there's still time to fix it. I know I can do more to keep everyone together. I want to believe you, but you can't just fix everything. I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just don't go faster. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? to do with potato that's not a weapon it's a root vegetable and not a very good one i don't care how silly it sounds as long as it works yeah i guess just potato or, sorry i meant hashtag potato 451 take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal you can take away his power and end this Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them, too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. Maybe the damage is already done then. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... 
I don't want to leave if it means... I'll be right there with you, Petra. You think your place is out there, then so is mine. Knew you were Just a big old softy. Two decisions uh, before the final <laughs> bow. We'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Yes. Call the others. We're getting out of here. Now. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason. To keep things away. There are people in Fred's keep who are coming with us. Great. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty admonish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things. Make everything messy. Inefficient. It takes a village, Zara. You knew that once. Right. And then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. If it comes to that, maybe. Jesse, we can't just take him out. There is no maybe. Heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Going after revenge would make us just like Romeo, Zara. We're better than that. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to see if Romeo understands anything but violence. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Almost again. So unhelpful. 
go. Mobs don't stand a chance. Training for the marsh hoppers of the Harline swamps totally paid off. Jack! Jiggy Bill. You thought a little fall would get the better of the velvet tornado? Please. For Fred's keep! For the future! Fight! Oh, Someone's gotta catch me up here. Taste of monster hide. It's hungry. Yeah! Yeah. We have to repair the building, otherwise that Enderman is never gonna leave us alone. Stop it! Come on. 
Come and get some of this! Oh yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! He has this, and he's giving us an opening. Everyone now, Ken, come on! You could ask for it nicely. But where? Anywhere has got to be better than here. Mystery portals ever. Death. I'm with the llama. Is everyone all right? It's the old order's temple. We did it. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood. This is amazing. Spot on impression. Yeah, this place would have blown his mind. Will, when he sees it. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did uh, for that's us. That's the perfect thing. Uh, we thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. were over I was content to let life pass me by that is until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye they said Jack do you think you can give me a hand for mine is trapped in a glove from the sea I thought I had left the seas behind but the seas came a calling for me It's a lonely road for a hero, the road is a bittersweet friend, for the road is cold and it's hollow, but it's all you'll have left in the end. shallows until we meet again a 
until we meet again. Jesse, man, is it good to see you? Where are the others? Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend... <sighs> Such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. A the better Jesse. <laughs> and now Jesse is trapped underground forever. One more ungrateful loser buried away. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Don't give up. Six hours. Just... To fortify these tunnels into town. 
Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... Well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. Oof. I guess. She still scared me, though. I think Zara's already done plenty in the fight against Romeo. And she's been at it a lot longer than we have. She deserves a break. Yeah, that's fair. Ugh. Maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Just remember, Petra, things look bad for us. But who knows what horrible things are happening to our friends, the people in Beacon Town right now. Uh, great pep talk? I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> My, that was loud. <laughs> want to bet that's where the primary terminal is. The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Concentrate. And he's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Oh, typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! <laughs> Now, how about you run along 
and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote, eh? Yes, Admin. Uh, Jesse. I think the Admin's distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now, one less thing to worry about. My... my... F Psst, Olivia, Axel. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I just knew it. <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh. Come on. Jesse, I... what is... Come on, I'll explain everything. To the map shop. Quick. <sighs> I did. Where the hard part of I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah. I still think you made that part up. I mean... I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. Honestly, I'm trying not to think about it. I do the same thing all the time with stuff that stresses me out. But... You said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. So glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. It's safer than being out in the open. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. When you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Is this? Hey, Jack! By the tides, I'd almost forgotten about that stash. Are these? Elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah. Got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Good news, by the way. Out of my sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah! <laughs> Ivor, what on earth were you just doing, hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor. Founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend standing in front of us, Nerm, within arm's reach. Hey, you're pretty.
pretty legendary yourself, Jack. Just play it cool around him. Right, right, cool. Cool. I, I, I can do cool. Yes, 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 yes. Ivor, right? Sup? Yes, I am Ivor. And you are? They call me... The... S <coughs> the Stab Walker. Yeah, that's a nickname. Yes! Hi! Hello, strange stab person. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. He fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Went with that prison parrot story. He loved it. A wonderful idea from that skinny-armed fellow. Uh, sonar. Radar. Radar. <laughs> and after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult and took many, many days of intense mental activity and a very large hole in the side of the Sunshine Institute, which I'm sure no one will notice. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Nerm may be nice. Well, you're a hero, Nerm. Jack should watch out. You might start stealing his glory. Nerm, the Sunshine Rock. Ooh. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary oh, terminal. Fail. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. I'm glad it's easy to find, but it's floating up in the air. Indeed, which... Is this a problem, perhaps? Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. You? Wanting to talk it out? That's actually not a bad idea. I could try. Right? I mean, if you could get me to talk about my feelings, it might be worth a shot. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction, like Jesse's big speech at the start of Jesse Gone? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Oh. Hey. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We never get backstage without fireworks skills uniforms, so we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom! Backstage passes. Over there, he swipes some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel. Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. And the second those fireworks go off, I go air. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. Then the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even goes See? Piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. 
I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on it. Well... Stella does know where the fireworks guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can. Because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin. You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Yeah. Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. his home what did champion city do to you destroying homes left and right absolutely no regard for people's lives it wasn't me it was someone disguised as me Psh, sure deny any accountability you really have changed oh i need this to end once and for all Jesse, I did what you asked. Now there are pork chops for everyone. Would you like to taste one? I made it myself. No, no thank you. And you know what? You could change to carrots if you wanted. I'll... I'll do that. Thank you, Jesse. Maybe... Maybe I'll get some new pigs, hmm? I'll need the Dennis and Countess... Pink Paisley the fourth. <laughs> Hope that didn't get this guy in trouble. Just unveiled the new statue you built, oh, yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kinda liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> yeah. Kinda feels like it's, like, following me sometimes, though, you know? You know what? I change my mind. Let's bring the old one back, shall we? Dude! I can't wait to see it again! Not that, you know, this one wasn't... Like, go with your gut, dude! Especially if it wants the old one back. Yeah! Just to be here. That's why I decided not to. But uh, righteous, thanks, Jesse, dude. I don't know. Whoa! What? Oh shit! 
What? what? Where? Where is my statue? You there, Nelly? What happened to my statue? The uh, the one you just tore down because your gut told you to? What? What are you talking about? What is she talking about? Like two seconds ago, you you, you were. You want to blame your insolence on me? Golems, take her away! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm yourself, dude. Like, take some deep breaths, okay? <sighs> oh no, Fucker. no! Stupid. What? That's it. Hire more people. Force them. Conscript them. I don't care. Jesse Kahn will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo. That's our ticket in. It's now or never. I take it. Perfect. Now we can... Oh, gravel. Where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you. Hmm. You're not the admin, are you? Hmm? Hmm? It's no use hiding the truth. I am not the admin. For I am actually the real bona fide. Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. Surely you have a reason I'm not seeing. We couldn't risk the admin finding out I was back. The fewer people who knew, the better. I understand. Whatever it takes to thwart that maniac. Man, I can't believe I almost worked for him. Gives me the willies. Ugh. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the... No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top-secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left! It's time. It's time. <sighs> Just one hour, please. We won't die. We must win. But at the cost. And of course, as Jesse, I've got my best friends, Olivia and Axel, with me, don't I? Oh. Who are you? Yes! Thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah. Totally. The resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Binta? The admin. He's right there. Right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused. Killing Fred. 
inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly, seeing that smile somehow makes it even more unbearable. It'd be useless. There aren't any weapons that can even touch him right now. Our only hope is getting that word of passage up to the tower. You're right. Attacking him now would only doom us all. And as Jesse, your Jesse, let's go to work. Of course it was mandatory, but I sensed that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding how important I am to you. No one from back here except fireworks you mean, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. It and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. What the? There's no Nothing. fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? That's like planning a birthday party without. You know. uh, why can't it ever be easy? <laughs> Please, when has it ever been easy? Easy or not, I can't help but notice that we still don't have any fireworks. We have to make one. I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Sugar cane. Must be a fan. Wait. Okay. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? This one does like an awesome magenta burst. Very rad. <clears throat> Ivor? Shh. I'm in stealth mode. Completely undetectable to the human eye. How? Invisibility potions. You'll have to take my word for it. They're fantastic. Wait, you had invisibility potions this whole time? Yes. But Ninja Law says you must wait for the most dramatic time to use them. What? Why? I don't know. I'm not a ninja lawyer. Do you have any more? More what? Invisibility potions. Uh, nope. Sadly, I drank my last one to surprise you here. But I'll be watching you. From the shadows. I've never oh. seen that before. Crafting. Oh, 
There's a firework. Nice. Now, just need to... Hey, Glenn, I... Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. And you ain't... Who? Shut the fuck up. <sighs> yeah. That felt... That felt good. Really good. Maybe we can't hurt the admin yet, but we can still take out his goons. We've come too far to second-guess ourselves, and we can't let anyone get in our way. Nice one, Binta. Ha! <sighs> Not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. <sighs> Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse. For everything. Okay, all strapped in. Fireworks ready. to oh perfect just what I needed ah, too slow dummy come at me ugly Side. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now. I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something. Shh. Okay, okay, sorry, you're right. I'm uh, being a nervous talker. You know, when you do, yeah. Lucas! 
Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That's enough now. Ooh, sorry. Oh, man, I am loving that you brought the ocelot jackets back. You guys look so cool. It's not just about looking cool, Jesse. It's a symbol for the people of Beacon Town to rally around in our rebellion against you. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk, not yours, not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, and telling us our builds were ugly. It wasn't me that locked you all up, it was the admin. Wait, what? No, you said you defeated the admin. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The no. admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... Okay. Yeah. It's you. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the terminal. We have a word of passage. <coughs> Potato! That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the potato, but I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. <laughs> it's done. It's on the table. Well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Let's do this thing, Golden Goliath. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agree. Yes. Oh, Honestly. thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. The fucking darn. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so here I am. Jesse. Hang on. Let me try and reason with him. Uh, hello? Jesse? It's over, admin. We're here to... Excuse me, excuse me, we? What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja Ivor told me you were still in the Sunshine Institute. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. He was only telling you what I told him to tell you. This is between you and me. Uh, I suppose you're right. So, let me guess what your plan is here. See if I've really got the Jesse thing down. You want to slug it out, Jesse or uh, Jesse, to take back your face and control of Beacon Town, right? No, I know you're way too powerful for me to fight one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if you've noticed, but your people out there, your friends, they just love the new you. I'm the best Jesse that's ever been. The posters, the adoration. I heard there's even a parade later. They don't really love you. They're afraid, you maniac. What? They're terrified of you. The only reason they act like they like you is so you won't make them disappear. Well, maybe I should make them disappear then. All of them. Oh, 
And you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst! Oh, what yes! Did you yes, spit? I said it! I hate being you! Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy! I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do. No one ever asks what I want! Ah, oh, it's all, can I have iron and can I have gold? And what are they using all that stuff for anyway? That's what being a leader is, Romeo. It's not all fun and bossing people around. Sometimes it's hard. <sighs> it's what it's terribly disappointing is what it is. It's just... But it was fun at first. Fun? I show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you know... You know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, maybe that is the best way to proceed. I'm really glad you think so, because I think that's a good idea. Oh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. <sighs> well... This has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Next time? Yeah, the, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! How dare you! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader, a great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these... These wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. Now hang on a second, Romeo. We can still be friends. You don't have to bedrock over anything. That's right. Yeah? You, you really think so? Yes! Mm, nah. Bedrocking time. Oh well. <sighs> Toodles! How dare you! This doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah, he just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew, such a jerk. Away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go. Come on. We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Yes. Oh. Go. Keep going. Stay safe, okay? All right. That's what I was going to say to you. Oh! Okay, guys. Don't tell me what's through here. So be safe. Good. Now the final stage. Is that 
the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Yeah, kind of hard to make sense of it all. Hashtag potato four five one. It was, uh, it was a good thought, but, uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! No. It's just more of his stupid recordings. You selected password protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait. He has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kind of makes me feel bad for him, actually. Nobody ever said it was easy to hang on to your friends. Send your password to begin a new program. Okay. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato451. Use it, use it, use it. What's first? Potato. It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato, please? Acquiring potatoes. <laughs> Items dispensed. Thank you. Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison, but it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Gotta figure out which one is correct. Must not fail. Poison? And there we go. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. I don't know if this is right or not till I do. Okay, okay, that sounds like progress, right? Was that a good final thud or a bad thud? It's Fred? Sara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, 
but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Yes. Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, what oh. do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done! No take that! Jesse, hurry! Temple? Kalu Kale, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh. That was back when I thought we could still be friends. Huh. Ah. Figures. This temple, this challenge, was my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you. Give it up.
You wouldn't attack old Jack, right? Well, after everything we've been through together... There's just one problem. You're not Jack! Maybe not, but it's certainly a nice form to use when I destroy you! Romeo, the time you paid for everything you've done. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me that! Oh. That's all that! That's the cause of all this! Let's go! Say that again. How's that level playing field feel, huh, jerk? Get away from me! make everything so difficult. Everyone likes you. Of course. And you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just... Uh, I just wanted people to... People to... Asia. Place is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But 
look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just... just leave me. My powers are the cause of all this in the first place. I deserve to stay here and pay for the mess I made. I can't believe that, that this you is what it took for me to realize. You should never have had that kind of power in the first place. Look at where it got you. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll all be over soon. Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Master. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. Come on, this place is falling apart. You're not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Come on. gets to that point before we do, we'll be stuck here forever. Let's move! Not a minute too soon. Oh my gosh! It's not to following me, right? Right? Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, oh. Nice work. Finally. Finally. I... I... Thank you. Sincerely. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm gonna return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm gonna try and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... what I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara... well, it's something, at least. And... and no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. I hope I can still remember how the normal way even works. That sounds fine, Romeo, but it's only the start. You have a lot of making up to do. I know. It's true. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd 
fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he... Don't worry. It's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you... Do you really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts more people? He might... He might have been better off where he was. Doesn't have his admin powers anymore. Now, he's just Romeo. He's harmless. Yeah, I'd worry more about people wanting to hurt him. A lot of people out there who might want a piece of the old admin. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. decision. Approaching you from this direction, and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Both my actions and my intentions are crystal clear. <laughs> After all the times you've snuck up on me recently, I appreciate that. Precisely my intention! My days of sneaking up on people are behind me. So, no more ninja Ivor then? No. <laughs> No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Yeah, take it from me. It might be awkward, but I swear it'll be worth it. Good to know. It won't be the first time I've created an awkward situation. <laughs> well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... This is ninja habits die hard. I, uh... Hope you don't mind, but uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been stressful, but also fun. Well, you had a pretty great role model, if I do say so myself. Yeah, Lucas is an amazing Seven guy. Hours. Joke. Seven hours, perfect. Time to see this. Hey, last, Luna. See this uh, story mode the last time. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already you'd been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If you've already built her a llama house when I haven't been around, I, I, I just wouldn't want to double up. Which, by the way, I'd be okay with you doing if you'd already built one. If she wants to stick with me, it'd be my honor to keep taking care of her. I think she'll really like that. I always considered you a part of the family. Okay. Well, the stupid emotions. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. Hoping I can start by helping clean up this dump. No more. Yes, our rivalry is over. Finally put it to an end. 
Actually, I ended our rivalry. I can end a rivalry way better than you. I'm not proud of it, Jesse, but I was a little tiny bit weirdly obsessed with you. Oh, are we talking about Stella being a weirdo stalker now? Huh? Hey, I was just telling Stella here that I would take care of Luna for her. Oh, cool. Well, she seems very excited. Yes, and now I must go. Thank you again for everything. Sincerely. Now you <sighs> got everything you need, no, all packed decision. and double checked. Yes, Jack. This is very you know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are no good. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So you're leaving, apparently, for how long? Honestly, say goodbye probably a while. Forever. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to like grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I ah! come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. Jeez, it'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the great unknown, huh? huh? I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. You could start a new town. I bet Petra would extend the invite. You could go, too. I appreciate that, but... I think it's time I settled down here. I just got the ocelots back together. Thought maybe I'd work on a new book. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving... Well, I mean, until the world needs saving again. That always seems to act as a nice reunion. Hopefully... Hopefully not too soon, though. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? Goodbye. The safest. Yes. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Back in the admin's cabin, I, I know you promised that we'd always stick together. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait. You're leaving? Big decision is made. First thing, we can tell. But if I choose this, we need a new leader. Yeah, I think Petra and I are gonna hit the road for a while. <gasps> Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it does. But, but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? Things are peaceful now, you but saved us danger all? could still strike at any time. Uh, the people could, uh, th they could revolt or something. Who do you think, pal? You! Me? Really? Yeah. I hereby promote you from intern to hero in residence. Thanks, boss. This, uh, you have been, you are. What I'm trying to say is that I promise I'll make you proud. You already have. Everyone's going to miss you, you know? I'm not going to miss them, too. But if anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around. <sighs> Come on, Luna.
Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Hey, Tummy, you gonna wait up for what? you'd be interested in a race. Ha! Ah, you're on!
Finally, I won! The 7 hour victory is finally done! It's time to go to bed. Alright guys, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the like button. Next time I wanna beat the Minecraft hype or... Uh, but I don't know how, because uh, the end is very really tall. So I, uh, I Alright guys, it's off now. Good night.